So uh, my this page has uh, about 20 pages, and I have no idea talking about 10, 20 pages. It's, I'm going to finish in by, by, by five or seven minutes. So this is the top slide, and this is the only thing I really want to say. I, it's a proposal of reporting um, trusted execution provisioning protocol on the risk five, which with uh, better um, hardware support, which Sci Five has as a word guard. And one thing I one word I would like to add is I I really need a support and help. Um, if if that's that's the only biggest message I really wanted to say in this uh, um, plumbers. I really wish to be in the plumbers. I just was in the different conference last week and couldn't attend, couldn't afford to traveling to US from Tokyo. So that's it. And this is uh, some of the words that's related to um, deep implementation and they're going to skip it. And the reason I started to, uh, this is the use case of the deep, but um, I'm going to skip it. So the reason I'm going to, I going to talk is uh, I was able to release the source code of the TP protocol implementation on April 2023. And how it went is uh, something wrote it on the um, presentation page. Uh, one third of the below, it's kind of rant, but um, that's how it was. And uh, so um, I was, this is the, Going to the documentation from the um, for the implementation, it's tough. So I just going to be really uh, going to be really um, briefly, and it's already forty seven. So um, twelve forty seven midnight in Tokyo. Um, so TE is a well, one kind of the special hardware assisting um, if you want to run something alongside with the Linux, and I. It's a similar implementation. The first time I saw was PlayStation 3 when I was working at the Sony Computer Entertainment. It had a secure boot and it had a game OS and was running a game application, but there was something else on the side in different memory space was doing something sensitive uh, stuff. And uh, similar implementation and different, uh, similar feature, but completely different implementation I saw was uh, um, set top box and uh and uh and uh and then um and so i would like to have the um similar implementation on risk five okay and uh so how how it might be um, implemented on the Risk Five will be has a, has a Risk Five um, World Guard CPU, and uh, and also has a um, um, secure mode um, um, firmware. It's will be probably will be, be in the Open SPI. It's just a proposal. It, it doesn't mean it have to be this way. And uh, initial implementation on Risk Five without the World Guard we was using. Um, Keystone project, but um, on the right side, but I'm not sure which um, will be for the World Guard support. But on the left side is the regular Linux kernel and the TIP agent. Oh, and uh, above is TIP uh, typo on the slide is TIP TAM TAM server, and then the up, upper upper side is a uh, verifier. Oh, I could have a pointer. So um. And the right side is the where it has a implementation of the TIP protocol on, on the device side. So TRF is provide TEE uh, API, which is uh, defined by, um, you could see the a, uh, API specification at the global platform. And on top of that is, which is has a TIP device box is a, where it has the TIP protocol implementation. Honestly, this way of the implementation um, uh, makes it easier to run the uh, other TEE application from ARM Trust Zone or something or Intel to the Risk of Five. If if people would like to have more um, uh, application or usage from the other uh, CPU, then it might be good. But uh, honestly, considering a security, um, hiding the TIP device and little 
um, SM region or underneath the runtime or, or um, S mode region in the risk five side is more uh, robust for the security. But for the beginning, this is how um, we did in the our initial implementation. And this is the easiest way to support on risk five world guard, but I'm not sure what to do in the future. Okay. And there's a GitHub, um, not the GitHub, but on the GitHub, we have a wiki page, which has a link to the um, um, repository and documentation, and also slightly um, reduced page of this slide. And how the T protocol works is written in from the page 10 to page 11. And I'm going to skip the explanation here. And yes. So um, if I go back, yes. And the assumption is, um, th these are the assumptions we are not, we did not really have a resource to implement uh, fully uh, properly. So it, it does need a secure boot to ensure that uh, a binary on the secure side is uh, uh, not compromised from starting from a secure boot. That's why it's written here. And uh, yes, and, and uh, these are the use cases. Um, I wrote it down the use cases because it's well, was, um, why it's a typical question. It's not a technical detail how you implement it, why it's uh, uh, important. And it's more like uh, have a, why you why it's used and why you need it. So automotive usage. Um, re these days, if you buy an extra option for the automotive, Historically, you go to the car dealer and the car dealer add some physically option uh, gadget onto your uh, Dutch dashboard or in the in the engine. But on um, these days, if you pay to the uh, car automotive company, you have a serial code flying from the server and install to the, uh, the car automotive and you have a better quick charge rate or something or OTA or, or some other uh, feature. And similar for the network equipment. Um, network equipment requires firmware update as an OTA, or also it requires a um, certificate update. And some, in some cases, you might want to um, disable the device if it's detected to comp being it's compromised. And this is this is like if you use if the a company is making a surveillance camera or home 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 camera devices. It's also the use cases, and and also this is not that much um, widely um, noticed. But um, it's current most of the heavy industry. It's uh, how to how to be governed is uh, being based on the contract. So if you if the if and then it might be it's good to in the future have technically having a control by um, not uh, with the security um, um, feature. And, and and yeah, for the drone, it's pretty much the same as other embedded. And this is the something it's uh, um, not really did in my, um, our implementation is the for the confidential. Co Computing, it's it's called, but it's just a kind of the confidential um, VM, um, which is guaranteeing technically that the hardware, hardware in the in the hardware, the, the host OS is not able to read the guest OS. So the person who wants to host a, a virtual machine on the um, cloud, um, and technically you could assure that it's not able to um, read from the host OS uh, um, um, the vendor. But um, it, then the only yeah you, you do have a question that you need to uh, uh, who you trust is going to shift from the um, host uh, cloud vendor to the CPU vendor. But um, yeah, that's something if you it's possible. So um, yes, and these are the some um, 
these are the some um, status that uh, I did for the um, making the implementation for the as a standard. Yes, and I think that's it about uh, my talk. Um, any question? Or I'm in remote, so I may somebody may need to speak in the mic, or I really don't yeah. know what how it's can, going to happen. Yes, I hear you. Yes, yes. Cool. All right. Hi. Uh, so, do you have like an POC implementation? Because you talked about different T things, including Confluence of VM, for which we have a complete separate different spec. So, it's not sure. Like, is this just the TP protocol you're talking about, or do you have a POC thing going on in a different way? Because um, uh, we saw also Opti version of Risk Five landed in the mailing list a few months back. I've not heard mm -hmm. anything from that. Um, for the uh, other use cases, not with the the last one for the VM, there there are. If you go to the documentation on the GitHub, there are a there are a, um, a, a binary installing just printing out hello t. But if you modify that code, yes. All the other infrastructure is working, but if it, uh, using um, Sci5's work card, uh, yes, it's working on Sci5. So initially, you could try on Docker on the on uh, on Risk Five. It should be working. If it if it's not, please let me know. Send me email. Uh, and can if you, you go back to a, the, so what are you, you probably need some Risk Five specific specifications, right? Like. How does the OS ah, talk says, to the yes, secure yes, manager you have? Um, the current implementation on Risk Five is only using PMP as a T um, for the um, securing uh, um, application on the TE side, which is not really uh, enough for the security consideration. So, I, which is uh, compared to Intel. SD, SGX or TD, TDX or risk um, arm trust zone using PMP is uh, really not enough. So, yes, um, so I, this is, within RVI, there is a working group uh, coming up with like SMTTT, which they have, which basically built on top of Allguard, and then they have like domain IDs and all mm -hmm. the stuff. Ravi is not here, but you know, if you have looked at that spec, and mm -hmm. go spec and then how does this complement or uh to with whatever you are talking about mm -hmm. yes so um right now on the left side um i should maybe i should include it the current implementation on the risk five which you're only using pmp for separating um linux and te os um but, but that's uh, it's really yeah it's uh, if you it's, if you see the code you it's easy to come up with how to hack inside from linux to the te side so so um uh, hey, accurate, accurate. One, one question yes you expect the tos to be uh, running in m mode um s mode s mode if you so if it's S mode, uh, you 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 may want to look at the uh, uh, SMMTT specification that uh, mm -hmm. Atish just mentioned, uh, which mm -hmm. allows you for uh, uh, protecting physical pages per domain, and uh, you would have mm -hmm. a, a TE domain defining uh, defined for your uh, TOS. Mm -hmm. So if you're only expecting TOS to be running on uh, in S mode, this is really uh, appropriate. Mm -hmm. And doesn't rely on uh, wall guard. Uh, uh, at oh, all. I see. I see. I see. I see. Oh, I see. Oh, that might be an option. Yes. I see. And this is the the same um, uh, memory protection that we use for the overall uh, RISC Five uh, confidential computing specification, mm -hmm. based on mm -hmm. SMMPT, with other mm -hmm. uh, ABI constructs that you probably don't need. But at least for uh, for for uh, memory protection, mm -hmm. uh, if you're running on S mode. Uh, SMMTT is mm -hmm. probably a good fit. Okay, okay. Yes, okay, thank, well, thank you. Thank you for the input. Yes, I will look on it. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Sorry about the audio issues, but hopefully we'll mm -hmm. do 
better next year. I don't know. <laughs> totally different place. I can't promise anything. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I, cool. All right. Thanks I, so much. I, uh, I, thank you very oh, much. Yeah, I, I, I wish I would have been in uh, Virginia sometime in the future.